all right y'all so this looks terrible doesn't it but this is what plants like so this is comfrey i just threw it in some water and this was just regular rain water wasn't nothing else in here and um i think i told y'all about that comfrey i cut down well i threw it over in here and it's only been like four days five days at the most and um it already reeks and it's already breaking down just that quick so some people wait a month and all that but i'm here to show you you ain't gotta wait a month you ain't gotta do nothing special regular garbage can that i got for free some business was closed and they was throwing all these garbage cans away so i asked them could i have them they was like they garbage take them nothing wrong with the garbage can you'd be surprised what people throw away it's under the eave of my house so when the water runs off the house it lands in here um and then i uh cut my comfrey down and i just throw it in here now some people chop their comfrey up as you can see i got big old stems in there and everything i ain't chopping up nothing i ain't doing no extra work y'all that like doing all that extra work more power to you i'm not doing it i ain't got time for it so you gonna do extra work chris huh chrissy you gonna do extra work you won't see this you won't see the stinky stuff you want to see the stinky stuff want to smell Ooh, he backing up. He like, ooh, that stinks. You don't like that, do you? I know. So, um, free fertilizer. A lot of people pay for a whole lot of amendments and different stuff. I'm not saying don't do that. I do buy fertilizer from time to time. I do. But try your best to use what Mother Nature gave you. Even if you're not growing comfrey, everybody got weeds in their yard. Everybody got vegetation in their yard that they don't want. Take that and throw it in here, because I've, I've done the same thing. I've just taken weeds out of my yard um, and done that. So, you know, it still works. So, uh, you know, this is a great way for you to get free nutrients for your plants. Uh, your cats are guarded for you. Uh, actually, the smell are guarded for you, because honestly, you walk past this and smells like death and if you get it on you you better hold yourself off before you go in the house because you'll go in the house and be like oh my god something's dying and you soon find out that it's you um meaning you smell like death uh this stuff won't hurt you but god it reeks um and i just pour it on because this is a 50 gallon drum i didn't put a, a 55 gallon i forget how much this is 50 55 something like that I didn't put a ton of comfrey in there. I don't dilute my comfrey. Some people do. Let me tell you, that's one more step that I ain't feeling. I ain't feeling that step. Throw some on my peppermint. And you don't have to get it on the leaves, but this does work good as a foliar spray as well as a feeding at the roots. Now, I will say this. If you're about to harvest this stuff, like whatever you putting it on, you about to harvest it. You might not want to put it on leaves. I mean, you could wash it off, but if you can't get that smell off, <laughs> after whatever you eating, it might be kind of off-putting. <laughs> so, anyway, I was just out here doing this right quick, watering everything, checking on everything. It's getting hot. I'm going to turn this camera off, get done, and, um, I got some other stuff to do out right here. Um, I wish I could be like Pissy Chrissy and chill. Chris, can look? Can you can you do some work? Huh? Don't close your eyes and tell me you love me. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.